Good morning. It is a great Friday, and it's a milestone here in Iron Eye Boats. It's the day where we lay up the last piece of Douglas fur on the Kilson. So, I've recruited a teenager <laughs> to help me record this so you can actually see work happening and not just an update. So, let's get a sander and let's go finish this Kilson. So I've sanded this before, but I just wanted to lightly sand it again because it sat outside for about a week or so. And uh, that's all we do is just touch it up, rough it up, then we'll wipe it down with acetone. So. <laughs> So we've sanded up the board that's going to go on top of the layup. So I glued this up yesterday. So we want to take the clamps off and we're looking for, you know, any glue that may have run down. So we're going to take these clamps off. Then we're going to lightly go over this board to take down any glue. So now that we've lightly sanded everything, I've removed any excess epoxy from the previous layup. Just going to wipe down with a little acetone. All right, we're back inside, getting my roller ready because I like to roll on my thickened epoxy and got my tools in my pocket. And now here comes the hard part, mixing up the epoxy. It's not hard, but. So we've got 20 ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener. And so I just use these cheap measuring cups from the Dollar Tree, not the Dollar Store, the Dollar Tree, because everything's actually a dollar at the Dollar Tree. 
and I just poured it into the cups. When I have smaller layups, I use the measured pumps. But two cups, keep them separate. They'll last me a couple of months. And I use cheap plastic knives, also from the Dollar Tree, to do my mixing. I guess a stick works just as well. And of course, you know, epoxy has to be mixed very thoroughly. All right, so we've mixed for about a minute, and now I'm going to add the thickener I use. Uh, I, I like wood flour from, where did I buy the wood flour from? From Duckworks, but I didn't have time to order anymore, so I've just been using this microfiber adhesive 404 West Systems. I'm not a proponent necessarily of using all West Systems. But for the structure of the boat, I want to use what I consider to be the best, um, the strongest. I think there have been lots of studies that show that the West Systems is in fact the strongest. So I usually do about 10 to 12 of these for the layup. So again, thanks to the magic of filmmaking. Voila! We've got thickened epoxy. I like this sort of loose porridge <laughs> texture. It allows me to roll it on and gives me good working time. And so, I've got about, from this point on, I've got about maybe 15 minutes to get this on. So, let's get outside. And here we go, thicken with a roller. Doesn't really roll it, just sort of helps to spread it. And I like to get it to where it's just white. Okay, we'll get a little bit of rolling out of it. is very messy. Do not wear your best work clothes. Alright, so we've emptied the pot out and just put it on, you know, as thick as we can. And I'll just let this dry up <laughs> and we'll use the pot again. Every layer of epoxy that goes in here just makes this thing a, into a brick. So as you can see, we've got both pieces thoroughly wet out, nice and sticky, and yeah, some of the plastic will get caught up in it, but oh well. My advice is to just get as much as you can off your roller, you don't want to waste it. Then I like to take the roller off right after I'm done, because if not, it'll pretty much get stuck. The cover will get stuck. And now, here goes the hard part. <laughs> Clamping this thing up. So luckily today it's overcast and not too sunny yet. So the glue is actually gonna last a little bit longer than normal. So what I like to do is sometimes work my way from one end to the other or right in the middle. 
and today I'm just going to start where I am. Pressure on where I am. Get it kind of even. Then work my way down. So I don't have enough of the six inch or longer clamps. So what I'm doing is I'm clamping to the jig with the big clamp and then simply clamping to the wood at the other locations. Voila. See if we get that good squeeze out. We're looking for. So we've got it clamped up. And there are a few places where I didn't have enough six inch clamps. But I got plenty of drywall screws. So if you get a close look here, you'll see there's a little gap. We've got good squeeze out good squeeze out a little space take a little regular sheetrock screw voila good squeeze out and so that's it that's how you lay up <laughs> uh, wood using epoxy to make your dream boat so it's not saturday but we're building a boat until next time peace and blessings <laughs>